With over 823,000 individuals in our state living in extreme poverty, it's critical for our state to directly address this issue. We want to hear how you think the state is doing in our efforts to cut extreme poverty and what needs to change in order for us to be more successful in meeting our goals. It is very, very challenging for me at this point to ensure that my children can afford an education. But I do know that I'm gonna do everything within my power. I wanna to compel to you to look at children's savings accounts and let's think about some legislation that can actually help other children have a better opportunity than I had and that my own children had. When are we gonna stop saying, talking about the criminal activity and the criminals, our children gonna turn to criminals, they have nothing to do. All this vacant land in Lundell and over in Bronzeville, who's going to build something for our kids? If we don't build a recreation center for our kids, they're going to wind up in jail. They're going to wind up incarcerated. They Somebody gonna... please think about the kids and build something for the kids. Uh, employment discrimination for people with criminal records is the civil rights issue of our time. In the state of Illinois, there are approximately 3.9 million people who have arrest or conviction records. Probation is a conviction. Most people with criminal records have never been to prison and they're denied opportunities every day. This is wrong, civil rights issue. It's killing the communities in the city of Chicago where the majority of people with criminal records live. We have to get behind this. We have to encourage the governor to get behind this. I know if I hadn't gotten this transitional job, I probably would have resorted back to old ways. However, just getting up every day, going to work, feeling good about myself, you know, allowing me to feel inspired enough to encourage other people not to give up hope. Because I've seen a lot of friends that has returned home and returned back to prison. And it didn't discourage me. And it was because I got up every morning First of all, for myself, and then for my children and my family, because I know they believe in me, and sometimes all a person needs a chance. The way I wound up here is I was homeless two years ago. And being homeless, you're broke all the time. And when you're broke, you make bad decisions. I made a bad decision. I had to serve some time for it. Through the U-Turn Permitted Program, I was able to transition and start a new beginning. My daughter just went to college. Because of Sweet Beginnings, I was able to give her money so she can go to college. These transitional jobs, they don't just help the one person. They help every single person that person comes in contact with. They help sons, they help daughters. It goes through generations, and if we can change generations, man, this, we're doing good.